What's going on you guys? We are back again with another brand new construction home tour here in the northern Los Angeles County in the city of Porter Ranch. Today we're going to be showing you this contemporary craftsman three-story home right behind me that features five bedrooms, six bathrooms, 5,531 square feet of interior space, and is priced to start at just $2.5 million. As we begin our tour in the front of the house, let's look at the exterior. A lot of incredible beige stonework on the entire house, and it takes on the classic contemporary craftsman look. Check out all this beautiful landscaping throughout. You have an olive tree over on the left side of the house. Lots more landscaping. Bright white tiles on these steps going up to the front. You have a modern blue tinted two car garage door on the opposite side of the home. Up a couple more steps, we have this covered entryway. Before we head inside, you're about to be amazed, so let's check it out. Come on in, come on in. Immediately, you will notice, well, when I first walked in, you take a couple of steps forward and you look up. There's not two, but three stories here and just about 50 foot high ceilings, maybe more. It's unreal, this is gonna be an amazing tour. To my right is also another cool thing I noticed, the staging. These men are holding ropes, climbing up the wall. That's pretty unique. It's also a coat hanger, which is really cool. As we make our way this way, the first space of the house, this is actually not a room. This is just an open office area where you have some seating, could be a living room space, a workstation, flat screen TV up on the wall where front's facing, you look out to that olive tree. And a detail I really like in this room is over by these floating cabinet storage space area, you have LED lights underneath it, adding a nice 3D effect to the lighting and brightness of this room. Another detail are these dark wood beams, add a nice touch and it's a nice contrasting tone from the dark wood to the light wood down below in this cabinetry and countertop space, as well as the tiles on the flooring. Very bright, very modern, and very luxurious too. But let's head out of this open space. As you can see, this entryway is pretty wide too. And that's where we have our first bedroom. Before that, coat closet to the left and then powder room behind me. Now, cool thing about this powder room are the upgrades in the tiles on the walls in here. Textured tiles going from floor to ceiling. You also see it on this second wall behind the freestanding vanity in your sink there. And right out of this powder room, the first bedroom. Now this first bedroom can serve as your in-law suite, maybe your guest bedroom or whatever you wanna make it. But first thing I see, are all the light features in here. So look at these three modern light fixtures hanging down from the ceiling on both sides of the bed, as well as the backlit light over here on this wood part. You have it on the opposite side where your closet is, which is just a very nice touch as well. Gives it a lot of character to this room. It's not just your boring old guest room. But let's take a look at the bathroom. There's honestly a very big bathroom for your guest bedroom. You have countertop space. I love this gray tone on the countertops. It's also a lighter gray on the cabinetry down below. Large vanity, space on both sides of the sink. The shower matches well too. There's just a gray theme going on here throughout. You got the gray tile on the floors, different gray tones in the shower. It almost looks chrome going all the way up to the ceiling in there. Chrome shower head too. Well, there was honestly an impressive first guest bedroom, but once we take a look at the rest, I'm sure it will be maybe better. I didn't even mention the bubble-like light fixture immediately as you enter of all different shapes and sizes. Well, not all different shapes, same shape, different sizes. They're all circular bubbles, but let's keep going. Enough of that. I'm just curious to see what's on the third floor. I think it's a loft. I've never been up there, but I do know it's an upgrade. So if you purchase any of the homes in this community, you can add a third story, which is insane. This is one of the most open layouts I've ever been in in my life. Honestly, it feels like there's so much room in here. Well, there is 5,500 square feet, but it feels like more. You have the floating staircase that goes on forever. And then in this open space, we'll start in the living room. A touch I really love are the paneled wood ceilings up above me. I'm trying to stretch out my hand to touch it, honestly. It seems so far away. And then you have this limestone-like material surrounding your gas fireplace going from floor to ceiling, flat screen TV up there, a wood ledge beneath that. So much space here in your living room. Sliding glass doors opened up to the backyard. And so your living room flows very nicely with the dining space. Living, kitchen, and dining all together as one. But let's just walk out to the backyard because it looks insane. And one more thing, more 
massive oversized windows above your sliding glass doors. They're bringing so much natural sunlight because you're going to need it in this massive open space. Well, this isn't one of the coolest backyards you've ever seen in your life. You have probably been to some pretty cool houses and you're, you're going to have to hit me up because I want to see those too. But look at this. You have a drop down fire pit lounge with a glass pool that water flow, the waterfall flows into this rock border as well. This is amazing. So you have two fire pit lounge areas and the seats are wood beams just lined up together. This is amazing. It corners out right there. I don't even know what to say. This is the, the coolest design and layout I've ever seen in a backyard. I'm not even kidding. I've seen thousands of houses. And as I go over to this side, you have some steps over by more water features, more waterfalls. The copper tone rocks in there do match very well with the wood seats, which is amazing in my opinion. And you have some more wood features up above all the limestone walls, three waterfalls flowing down. And these steps lead you right to your elevated spa that you can sit in, hang out, so you can look at the views. To my left, I haven't even talked about the pool. It's a good sized pool, honestly, enough space to do some laps in or just have a, have a relaxing spa day. There's just honestly so much to talk about in this backyard, but we're gonna head over to the other side where you have outdoor dining, more of that limestone material around your wood fireplace, and then outdoor barbecue grill, wolf appliances, beautiful Caesar stone countertops with the waterfall edge, bar sitting on the outside facing the pool. Right when you get out of the pool, the steps are on this side so you can walk directly out of the pool and get served up food or drinks right here at the bar while still looking at the views, of course. There's also a built-in mini fridge down here below. More space in this floating ledge to stock your bottles, glasses, whatever you might need up there. But that's it for this backyard. I could spend here all day, but we still got to keep moving throughout the house and then also check out that third floor. Back inside through the sliding glass doors, we immediately enter your kitchen with a massive center island. It's a square center island. Every side is the exact same length and there's no waterfall edge this time. You have cabinets down here below for some storage, which is also sometimes nicer than a waterfall edge because you have more storage space but I absolutely love this kitchen. I love how modern and sleek all of the cabinets are up above and the handles are a really nice touch too because sometimes you have big bulky handles here in the center that might get in the way, but these, they're a little smaller, sleeker, modern, sleeker, is that a word? Haven't heard it too many times, but I think it's a very sleek look. Countertops extend from one length all the way to the under. other, you have your six burner gas stove, dual wolf ovens. This backsplash is something I had never seen before. It's really nice. I love the linear tile and then hood vent above, more cabinetry. How can you even use all of this cabinet space? It's crazy. To my left, large sink, dishwasher, trash compartment, everything you need. But then if you think this kitchen's cool, there's a second one. This kitchen might even be better than the other one because of this blue toned countertop. Oh my goodness. So blue's my favorite color as you can tell from my shirt but this is a nice, more like a navy tone. Also, you see the stone on the backsplash there. You have the, a smaller sink right here, and then more burners over on this side. You even have a fryer, Wolf Appliances, always Wolf, the highest end of appliances, also a vent up above. Same cabinetry here in this second kitchen, and then this door that is currently locked, but it leads into that garage. Also, a full fridge and freezer, in your second kitchen, why would you ever want to leave here? You can just leave the main kitchen alone, keep it clean, and just mess this one up. That's probably the go-to. And then one more thing, your pantry is also in here. Quick peek in that. And that's pretty much it. Finishing up in the main kitchen here, more Wolf appliances, large oven, built-in microwave. You even have a warmer down here below. It's always a nice touch and then a sub-zero fridge and freezer. That is a lot of waters. I think I'll take one. Large sub-zero fridge and freezer, more cabinetry around us, and then this might be the highlight in the kitchen for myself, an espresso machine, built-in Wolf espresso machine. I, uh, I would use it right now, but I don't wanna mess it up. That, that's amazing. More countertop space over to the right side. I really love this piece. Alexa, do the dishes. It's not currently on right now. I don't see an Alexa, but this would be in handy, a nice thing to say to Alexa if she could do that. And last but not least, breakfast bar seating on this opposite side, even though there's no waterfall edge and it is a square center island, there's still plenty of seating to sit at your center island to have breakfast. 
But now that was everything on this first level. We're going to have to walk upstairs and go to the second. Heading up the floating staircase to the second level, which is not the top level, obviously, it's the middle level. Look at the space to my left, how open it is down there on the first level. We're not gonna head up just yet, but I wish we could, honestly. And you can take a look around, you can see the ceilings are even higher, about 20, 25 foot high ceilings from the second level. A very nice bubbled chandelier hanging down from the center. And I love that on this floor, they have this opened up so that you can see down there below. The space feels even more spacious and you can walk around the entirety of this floor. There's a bridge-like area that leads you from the staircase to the master bedroom. We're gonna take a look at that room directly last. First, we have this space, which is the common landing area up here on the second level. It also closes off with these sliders on both sides. So you can honestly make this a comfortable movie room. This is the perfect movie room. Now it doesn't look like your typical home theater, but you can make it a space where you can watch sports or put a nice movie on your flat screen. Built-in speakers above, you have windows that look out to the rest of the community. All of those empty lots up there will be fully built within a year, year and a half or so. One of them could be yours, you never know. More details in here I do like are the floating cabinets, again, with the sleek modern handles. And then above that you have hexagon shaped tiles with LED lighting bordering the entirety of it, surrounded by large wood borders as well. And then you have wood panel flooring beneath us. But let's head out of here. Let's show you some of the bedrooms up here before the master and then obviously the third level loft. All right, the next room up here is the corner room. Lots of natural sunlight is coming in already. I really like that light fixture above in the center. Staged for the youngest daughter's room, potentially. Or if you like pink and that, that's what you're into, this could also be your room as well. As you turn right, this bathroom, Great finishes in here. One thing I do like that we see a lot are these chevron tiles here in the shower walls that go all the way up to the ceiling in a light blue tone. Bathtub built in, chrome rain shower head, quartz countertops in a lighter gray. Same cabinetry in your vanity. That Why would they go with any other cabinetry? This might be my favorite cabinetry in any upgrade, any home. It's, it's perfect, it's sleek, it's modern. I've mentioned it too many times, but let's go to the next bedroom. Next bedroom, right outside. Now this wall has a very unique look because it honestly reminds me of a rock with all of its stagnant patterns going on throughout. I don't even know how to describe it. I think that was pretty good though. So we can look to both sides of the bed. You see windows to both sides, more natural sunlight coming in. And then the bathroom. Oh, also your closets over here in this corner. Walk-in closet. Let's see how this bathroom's different. So I like the stonework immediately. The thing that stood out to me is this vanity. You can see the gold veins on the vanity. You don't see that too often. The white and the gold is a very nice, two colors that complement each other well. Sleek cabinetry, of course. White tiles, built-in tub. Copper textured tile on the shower. Wow. That is, uh, that looks really nice. That's all I can say about that. You don't see that too often, a copper shower tiled wall. But that's pretty much it in this bedroom. Let's check out what's next. One more bedroom before the best bedroom of the house. And then finally, I get to check out that loft that I've been talking about in every clip of this video. So let's turn right. Yet another corner bedroom, as you can see. A lot of natural light coming in. Closet is on this side. Wow, I just noticed the wallpaper on the ceiling. The fan is coming down, acting as if it is one of those branches from the tree above. Recessed lighting. This is a very nice cozy room. You also have carpeted flooring, and it's also en suite as all of the bedrooms are. Let's see this bathroom. Once again, you have my favorite stone. No, it wasn't from the last bedroom with the gold vein. This is the same stonework that we saw from the countertops in the secondary kitchen downstairs, which is really nice, my favorite color. As I said, this shower does not have a bathtub, but it does have modern beige tiles that are linear and they go all the way up to the ceiling. And it just is, uh, it's a great touch, it's perfect. I was still thinking about the countertops in here, but let's move on to the master bedroom because it is very extravagant. Let's check it out. More storage space right outside, light coming down from the cabinets. So real quick, directly out of this room leads you to your laundry room, but we're gonna show you that last because it connects to the walk-in closet. And I don't wanna give you guys a sneak peek of that just yet. As we make our way down this grand walkway to the primary bedroom, you can already feel the ocean breeze, not directly coming from the ocean, that's about 20 miles away, but a nice breeze coming from your pocket doors down below because there's so much space up here. 
But now let's just check out the bedroom. This is amazing. You can see the Santa Monica Mountains, even though it's a little hazy today. You have carpeted flooring in here, uh, flat screen TV up on the wall, storage space down below in your TV stand, large bed. I love this couch in front of the bed too. Adds a nice touch. Staging's incredible. This is an upgrade I've never seen before in my life with these staggered wood beams that are of all shapes and sizes going up to the ceiling with built-in speakers, a modern light fixture that looks like it's something from space up above, and then sliding doors that lead out to your private balcony. Covered balcony space with plenty of room, built-in speakers above, and a fan directly in the center. I love this day bed. I would never leave if this was in my backyard or balcony. Glass railings with a modern touch, a chrome handle, and then you can see down on the awning that's above your outdoor kitchen, right next to the pool. Views of the entire valley. You can see all the houses being built up here in this com community. One of those could be yours, as I said. In two years, this community is gonna look unbelievable. Well, let's head back inside because we have to see the bathroom. So before we head into the bathroom, I just want you to kindly hit the like button. If you haven't already, it really helps out the channel a lot. If you like this house, hit the like button. So I'm sure you will do that down below. Also subscribe. Now let's check out the bathroom. Okay, right away, first thing that stands out to me is that wall. That's not your typical random white wall. This is a limestone material of the gray. It's the same material that we saw surrounding the fireplace downstairs below. And then you have the large window right where your bathtub is, deep soaking, freestanding bathtub. You have two vanities, one on either side of the tub, perfectly symmetrical, freestanding sink right above it on your quartz countertops, light fixture on the left side, oversized mirror, of course. I don't need to keep talking about that cabinetry. It's the best cabinetry in the world. Then you have toilet tucked in the corner. Obviously, when this is purchased, there will be a door built in so you can have your privacy. Right in the center, glass door. Who doesn't love that? That leads you to your shower, large quartz shower bench that extends the entire width of the shower with a texture, it almost looks like polyester tile on the walls of your shower of its entirety. Chrome shower head. And now the closet I was talking about earlier. Well, all I can say is this closet is amazing. It's so bright, all the LED lights throughout. This is where your accessory table is. You can have your watches, accessory, jewelry, Lots of space to this side where you can put your coats, your suits, your dresses. The other side, just imagine all your shoes right here, directly in the center. How many shoes can you fit up there? Probably a good amount. I do not have enough to fill this, but this closet is great. And it leads from your bathroom through into your laundry room. Your laundry room is conveniently about three feet away from your closet, which you don't see too often at all. I know I'm sure most people would like that. Whirlpool appliances, cabinetry above, quartz countertops, same stone we've seen, sink, nice backsplash, and then we are back in the main part of the second level, but normally this would be it for the house tour, but not in this one. As I said, in this community, you can add a third level, which is an upgrade. It costs a little bit more, but I think it is worth it. You guys tell me in the comments if the third level is worth it. Let's go check it out right now. Well, here it is. I've been talking about it every three minutes of this video. Third floor loft space, and it is massive. This, if I was a kid, well, even now, this would be the perfect game room. You could also imagine a pool table up here, entertainment space. Let's check out this side. You have a bar area. Wow, I, the staging in here is incredible. You got nice beer mugs, and you have your countertops that extend the entire length of this wall. I love the bar stool seating, couple windows, and there's also a bathroom up here, which is perfect. You wouldn't want to walk all the way downstairs to go to the bathroom if you're hanging out up here, maybe you're having a couple of drinks, playing a couple of games. You just want to conveniently walk in here. Much different finishes in here. As you can see, the vanity is a little bit smaller, but that's perfectly fine for your third floor loft. You have gray tiles in your shower, chrome shower head, just standard bathroom, but it's perfect to have on your third floor. As I said, flat screen TV over on the opposite side, built-in speakers up here so that you can just listen to music on the third level while everyone else is having a good time downstairs, but might be the best part of up here. Not only do you have a loft, but you have a balcony. This balcony is bigger than the master bedroom balcony. It's not bigger in width, but it's bigger in length. Look at that. Wow. 
Yeah, if I were you guys, I would comment down below saying it's definitely worth it because this balcony just makes everything perfect. You can look down to the entirety of your backyard, the water features, the pool. You don't even need to go down and see the views from your backyard. Just come up here, enjoy life, drink a cup of coffee, maybe play me in, uh, in tic-tac-toe right here on this outdoor area. We are covered completely, two fans. There's so much space up here. This is amazing. I really love this. I, I love this touch. They haven't done this in any of the other communities here in Port Ranch, but I think this is well worth it to add a third level. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching till the very end of the video. As always, if you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Also hit the notification bell if you want to see when I post these videos in the future. What do you think of this house? It's something different. Three stories. You don't see that too often, especially in these model homes. I've toured a lot of these model homes on the channel. If you have any other questions, my email is down below in the description. I'm happy to help and answer any questions. Also hit the link above if you want to watch more of my videos in the future. And that's pretty much it. We'll see you guys on the next one.